the short row shaping. This is a diagram of the uh, armhole and a diagram of what I'm trying to explain <laughs> in my pattern. And I just thought, oh, picture's worth a thousand words. It's much easier. So um, what you do is with the right side, of right, right side of your garment facing, you pick up the certain number of stitches along the armhole opening. So for example, the large size is 74 stitches around. So you do that. And then once you've picked those up, you have to place markers along your armhole opening. And what I usually do is use those initially <clears throat> to clip them on. And then as you actually knit it and you get to this, I take this off and replace it with a traditional closed circle um, stitch marker. But um, so you have to, you have to mark uh, where certain things happen. And so I use two colors. I use color A and those are represented here and I use a color B and those are those are these six. So these three color B are used for the short row shaping and the color A is where you are working your noose cable. So uh, and you've by the time you've hit the sleeve you're quite familiar with the noose cable. So what you do is, um, so the, the stitch markers color A, you would place um, from your shoulder seam right here, from here to here is uh, you're going to count over eight stitches and that's when you place that one. And then also after the 10th stitch, which is this one, this is the 10th. In other words, um, there's two stitches in between here, eight and two equals 10. And you would do the same here. This is at the eighth and this is at the 10th. So in other words, there's eight stitches there and there's two stitches there, right? So then with the color B, I start at this end of the sweater and I place stitch markers after, so I'm gonna use the, the large size, after the seventh stitch each side. So I count in seven, and I place my first stitch marker there. And then again on the other side, seven, and I place um, the stitch marker there. Okay, and then it says place stitch markers B2 and B5, place it after the 11th stitch using the large size, the 11th stitch each side. So this was at the seventh point, so this is at the 11th. And this was at the 7th, and this is at the 11th, right? So in this particular case, there would be four stitches in between. 7 and 4 is 11, and 7 and 4 is 11, but this is at the 11th point. And then, using your shoulder seam as the starting point, place your B3 and B4 stitch markers after the, uh, using the, sm the large size, the 12th stitch each side. So I would count out to 12. And when I hit 12, the 12th stitch, that's when I place that one. In other words, if this one's at 10 and this one's at 12, there'd be two in between for the large size. And the same goes over here. This would be at the 12th stitch just after it. And again, in the large size, this means there would be two stitches in between there. And that's how you place it. I'm not knitting in the round, but it looks like it. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you what I meant by in the pattern. I, I ask you to put in two different um, colors of stitch markers. So you will see three green ones. Well, actually you'll see six. There's three on this side. Where's my shoulder seam? Ta-da, there's my shoulder seam right there. So you'll see three green ones on this side and these three are, um, are the stitch markers for the German short row shaping. So there's a, the, this is where you would start the German short row shaping every stitch. And then when you hit this one, this is when you switch to doing short row shaping every second stitch and then this is where you would end German short row shaping and just knit straight across. So those are the one, two, three, and then on this side the four, five, six, 
that are your short row shaping um, markers. And then these, one, two, three, four, are just the, um, the markers for when you're following the noose cable uh, pattern. It's just to help you with that. So that's just the little um, help video on the, um, on the stitch markers and why I use them. Now that you've placed your stitch markers in the appropriate spot, you actually have to start doing your short row shaping. So you start by, again, with the, in this particular case, because you've picked up, now it's with the wrong side facing, you're going to just knit in pattern, just following along, you're gonna knit past B1, past B2, you're gonna go past B3, past A, A, at, and well, I shouldn't say past A. Once you hit the A's, you have to start doing your noose cable pattern. So you're making your noose cable pattern in here. La 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 la. You finish your noose cable pattern. And then you get to B4. And you go one stitch past B4. And you turn your work and you do the German short row. And then you knit back this way, past A, or you're doing your noose cable. You do your noose cable past A, or sorry, do your noose cable, and then you get to B3, and you go, you work one stitch past that marker, you turn your work, and then you do the German short row, and you knit again. So you knit this way, you do your cable, and then you get past your stitch marker, you knit through the German short row stitch that you did before, you knit one extra stitch, then you turn your work, you do a German short row stitch, and then you go back this way. And you go around, you do your noose cable pattern. Ooh, I have wobbly lines. And then you get to the B3 stitch marker, you work past it, you work through the German short row stitch that you had done previously. You knit one extra stitch, turn your work, and then continue back this way. And you just keep doing this back and forth, back and forth, so that between B4 and B5, you're working every single stitch as a German short row. So eventually, you'll get to a point where um, you've worked your way around and you're getting close to You've worked your way around and around, back and forth over, and then finally you're at the point where um, you're hitting the B5. So when that happens, um, in between B4 and B5, you've picked up every stitch. Now between, and the same with here, B3 and B2, you've done, not picked up every stitch, but you've worked a, a German short row stitch every stitch in between those two markers. When you hit between B5 and B6, and then between B2 and B1, you're not going to do it every stitch, you're going to do it according to the instructions. So if you're doing the large size, you would, um, you're doing it every second stitch. So, so you have just worked your German short row just before the, just before German short row mark stitch, just before B5, you transfer the marker over and then you actually work two stitches, one, two. Then you would turn your work and go around. And you hit B2, you work through your last German short row stitch that you did, you pass the marker over and then instead of just working one stitch, you work two stitches and then you turn your work and you, and you continue on around. And what you do between B5 and B6 is either you're working two stitches uh, between your German short row stitch, because here was your German short row stitch, and then um, this one you, you would have worked one and then worked another and turned it, and in fact this becomes the German short row stitch, and then you would work two, which means that this one becomes the German short row stitch. So you're either working sort of every other is a German short row or you're putting three stitches 
and, and then working it. And you just follow the instructions as to which size what you are doing. And then when you have finished that section between B5 and B6 where you're either working every other, like you do two stitches, every you work a German short row every other stitch, or you do the German short row turn on the third stitch, and then when you get to the B6 mark point, that's where you are done your short row shaping. And then you just knit to the end of the um, slit, uh, armhole opening. You turn around, you work all the way back around, and you would have been doing your uh, short row shaping between B2 and B1, either every second stitch or every third every second stitch or every third stitch and then when you've hit the B1 marker you just pass on through it and you knit right to the end of the armhole and you are finished. And that is how you do the German short row shaping on uh, Misty's Cozy Cables garment.